Hey everyone, Mike here from ArnoldTutoring.com. Uh, we're going to go over a quick explanation of the work rate formula. Uh, so this is something that we sometimes don't think of it as an actual formula, but especially on standardized tests and when we're worried about timing, um, in answering a question we want to really think about this in terms of a formula. So essentially what we want to say for work rate, these are questions where we're either given like a distance, speed, and time question or we're given those classic ones where it, you know, it takes a, a pipe a certain amount of time to fill a tank full of water, or it takes people a certain amount of time to build a house, or people um, a certain amount of time to, you know, drive a distance or something like that. So the general formula is amount, or you can think of that as total. Um, total covered or total finished equals the rate times the time it takes. Now this is actually analogous to again the distance one I mentioned is distance we know also equals rate times time but we usually don't call it rate we might call this speed for the distance one. So we can think about that so when we're doing those ones where you know, it takes a certain person uh, X amount of hours to complete one house. Uh, that would be, the one house would be the amount. So let's say one house equals whatever rate they're going at times, let's say it takes them five hours. They're fast at building a house. So five hours is the time it takes. One is the total amount. So then you can think if we want the rate, in other words, just like rate for the distance and time, one is, is speed, so kilometers per hour, we want houses per hour. So their rate, we would just divide both sides by five, and we would get one house per five hours, which is the same as one-fifth of a house per hour. So this is, this is that person's rate is sort of one-fifth. Uh, I like to write the units just because it helps me keep track of it, but the whole idea is that we really, oftentimes they're going to ask for that rate. Uh, the last thing we want to think about with work rate formula, and I'm just going to pause and erase really quickly. The last thing we want to think about is uh, total rate. So often they'll give us some information about a certain individual, information about somebody else, and then they'll say, what if they work together? So we want a combined rate equals rate 1 plus rate 2 and this should be pretty easy to see so the rate of the first person can be added to the rate of the second person to get the combined rate so if you have one person that builds at one-fifth of a house per hour and one person that builds one-fourth of a house per hour well if they're working together quick common denominator here, you'll get 9 twentieths of a house completed per hour. And again, that should make sense. So that's the whole reason why we need this initial formula, that work rate formula, because rate is the key sort of component of that that we can then combine together. You can't combine two different times if they're on a basis of a different rate. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, we're going to look at a couple more videos with uh, some actual problems where, that we're solving using this formula. Thanks very much.